Got your drink? Got my drink. Cheers to a fab 2019. Indeed. Mm. I cannot believe that another year has come and gone. And so we thought we would share some of our best and worst of 2019. Yeah. And to soften the blow on the worst of 2019, we are rocking <laughs> maple bourbon sours my favorite drink of 2019. This one that you made, a little bit more boozy than usual. <laughs> when Flo and I were talking about how we're gonna do this best and worst of 2019, of course, we don't uh, have objective data. So we're going through some categories of the best and worst of 2019. And the best we're gonna do is coming give from our own, own, yeah. Yeah, give you our own opinion. Yeah. <laughs> Well, what we think, I guess, is was the best and worst. So our first one is what was my best recipe for the year. But I think that my grandma's soy sauce chicken was the best recipe. And for me, I think it was because it was the most nostalgic. It was super easy and really tasty. And that's why I thought it was the best. And it was really hard to come up with a best recipe in my opinion because there's so many uh, I don't know shrimp boil and uh, uh, the beef rendang are a few of the, the standouts and there's so many more we're coming down with that criteria of nostalgia and flavor and ease of of making the recipe mm -hmm. I'm with you girl no although I have to say that the recipe that I make the most and I mean like regularly, almost weekly, is one pot pasta because it is just so easy and the kids love it, I love it. And even I can make it. And, and even he can make it, which is probably why it happens like once a week. I might go for a 2020 version <laughs> with uh, sneaking some spam in there. Ugh. I think our worst recipe this year was the rotisserie chicken pot pie. It was uh, not your best performance, Flo. <laughs> but when we were going through the planning of the, the concept, we thought, wow, it's a really great comfort food. And everything looked awesome. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't wait to, to tuck into it. Yep. And then I did. And I thought, well, I'm not going to lie <laughs> to the audience. Did I say yeah. it was uh, a bit salty? Yeah, it was salty. In the end, we realized that it was because the rotisserie chicken was actually really salty. And so when I added more salt to it, and I think I also used salted butter, which I don't normally use, everything was just like super salty. I don't know what you did to, to bring it back. Well, in, in the end, what I did was we had some leftover mashed potatoes and potatoes tend to absorb salt. So that helped a lot was just having it with or putting in the mashed potatoes or even serving it mm -hmm. with mashed potatoes on the side or with rice on the side it would have i think it would have been okay it's not like when we first got married and i made you some <laughs> some cajun shrimp dish that was so spicy you couldn't even save it there was like no saving <laughs> If I didn't know any better, that she was after my life insurance. <laughs> the next category is best product. And it was something that we created, something that we achieved, and we just kind of lumped it in this one category. And for us, it was the cookbook. It took a lot of work, uh, probably a lot more than I expected. I'm not sure what I expected, but it did take longer than expected. But in the end, it finally came together. And even with some mistakes along the way, it was complete. Yeah. And we got it out there. Yeah. So 
Which brings us to the worst product. And keep in mind, guys, that everything that we create, we don't just fly by the seat of our pants and just do anything on a whim. The podcast was something that we thought about, thought through, and then we thought podcasts could be a great platform because people listen to podcasts uh, on the way to work mm -hmm. or, or at the gym or whatever or in the car. So we got our first one done yep. and we thought, wow. Ooh, it's not bad. We, and what did you tell yeah. me? You, what did you say to me that I told him that I wasn't going to do a podcast unless he committed to doing a podcast, like a weekly podcast that we would do every week. Sure, he says. The result is, as you guys know, there's only one podcast out there, and we feel really bad about that, guys. And we're telling you this because there are a number of people that have been asking about the podcasts and we've been like, yes, we know we're going to put out another one. We're waiting for the mic. We're all these excuses and um, we're really sorry, but we do hope to get more podcasts out there in 2020. The next category is the best vlog and the worst vlog. So the best vlog we think was our milestone series. And that's more than one vlog, but it was the whole series. Uh, there were seven episodes all together and we really feel like, you know, that was a great way to, for people to get to know us. And um, yeah, it was just really fun and meaningful to do. And in the spirit of good intentions, <laughs> a, in, a well-intentioned video, was the exercise vlog and yeah. uh, we were really intending to start something and stick with it and the, the the fact of the matter is that of course we didn't document our progress or lack of progress well there's nothing to document shortly after that because we just stopped yeah so we're, we're coming clean with you guys <laughs> we're fessing up but we do intend to get back to it. We thought that the taste would be a good category. So the best, the taste intro, we thought was from the Salisbury steak video where, well, just, you just have to watch. The taste. So I was looking at how people were responding to the videos and saw that, well, maybe there's, there's a bit of a change in terms of how the audience is reacting or watching the videos during the portion, the segment of the taste. So I thought, let's reduce the segment to make it shorter, to make the video flow a little bit faster. So I kind of just stopped doing the taste intro and just launched into tasting the food. No, no worries, no one's gonna notice, no one's gonna care, is what I thought. Well, apparently you guys do care. <laughs> and we were hit with multiple comments of, dude, where's the taste? <laughs> you forgot to say the taste. As if I forgot, so I thought, okay, all right. Anyway, so the worst, the taste intros were the ones that he didn't do any. Yeah. Next category is comments. So the best YouTube comment we received this year comes from Suki Shiro. And he says in his comment, Is dude single? Every time my brother walks by and catches him, he asks me if he's available. LOL. <laughs> I need a drink. That's so awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Suki. <laughs> and no, he's not available. Nope. The worst comment of 2019 is something that we decided not to zero in on any one comment from the year because truth of the matter is that there is a lot of mean comments out there ranging the, the whole spectrum. And I thought, well, I could totally try to out people, individuals on their comments, but we're not going to go there. There are lots of you guys, so many of you guys, most mm -hmm. of you guys that understand the value of what we do and why we do it. 
We work hard to make the best content that is both educational, hopefully insightful, hopefully encouraging uh, for, for all you guys out there. So that's why we chose to focus on the best comment and sometimes it's the funniest. So that's it for 2019 and we just want to wish you all a simple, ordinary and joyful 2020. Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year, guys.